Hey all, so I just wanted to start today by showing you uh, one of my little experiments that I've been working with for the past few weeks here. I uh, posted a short video of it and uh, some photos previously, but I just want to give you guys a little bit more in-depth uh, look at what I'm doing and a little bit of a description as well. So let's just jump right into it here. This is a tequila sunrise pepper that I've been growing indoors very very small and experimenting with for about two and a half months now maybe a little bit longer and as you can see this guy is definitely starting to produce some very small flowers but looking good so far now this guy has had a good bit of training as you can see I've really just been experimenting with this you can see on the stem here, sorry about that light, that it's really hardened off indoors. We've even got some aerial roots growing um, above the soil line here. And I've just kind of been screwing around with this pepper, so nothing real serious, just to see how far I can push its limits and, uh, and what I can do with it. So this guy is grown in uh, an experimental mix of soil and water down below and I'm feeding hydroponic nutrients as you can see these roots have only been growing for about five to seven days here but they are significant they're really really healthy we're gonna get these guys back in the water right away now today what I'm gonna do since I've noticed these flower buds forming is to just pinch back some of the larger leaves defoliate a little bit so that the plant can redirect its energy from vegetative growth and foliar growth to producing more of these little peppers and hopefully in some time I'll be able to show you guys those being harvested off of a little mini five inch tall pepper plant so most of the time when I'm pruning or trimming plants I try and use a sterilized scissor or um, pruning shear um, just to make sure that the cuts go, don't get infected um, but recently I've kind of been switching over I've just been cleaning my hands really well and I've been using my fingers to pinch off some of these leaves because that helps to close the wound a little bit more when you cut a plant you're really leaving a, an open cut or scrape on it that can you know be prone to all kinds of infection and other diseases things that plants can get um, and we just don't want that. That's no fun. Nobody feels like dealing with it. Nobody has the time or usually the money to deal with it, especially if you're growing on a small scale like I am. So to defoliate this guy, we're going to go real, real light and we're just going to pinch off some of the larger leaves here. So if you take a look from the top, you can see some of these kind of sticking out to the edge, some of the older leaves. So we're going to start right here with this guy. We're just going to go in real gentle as close as we can and just give it a light pinch. Toss these leaves off to the side for now. This one here. These two need to go. And we're also going to go down below. As you can see, this leaf is kind of underneath everything else. It really doesn't serve any purpose. It's just older and it's wasting energy down below. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pinch that one off too. And it looks like this might be the last one. We'll take off some of those lower leaves. But let's... Let's get rid of this guy here. We'll pinch him back. This guy's a little bit lower too. Don't need you. And then we'll go ahead, we'll look at these. The other side. And it looks like this one. Look at this. We got two little leaves wrapping around it. This guy in here is completely unnecessary. And we're gonna go ahead and 
gently get rid of him too. Now, remember, you you do want to be gentle. Um, the flowering stage is very delicate, um, so you don't want to to push or stress the plant too far. I've done all of the work that I need to on this guy for now. Um, he's been watered and taken care of. Everything else is good. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you a little bit about uh, my care process when my peppers start to get into flower here. Um, like I said, this one is just an experiment. As you can see, the crazy bends that I've been throwing in there. Um, really just for kicks and giggles. But if you guys have any questions or um, if you'd like to see me grow something else or see any other new videos, I am brand new to starting this YouTube channel for Garden of the Sun, and uh, I'd really like to uh, to get out there, talk to you guys, see what your opinions are, and um, if you have anything else, uh, any other questions that you need, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them in the comments or uh, in a message. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.